the final day of the Queen's Festival. Welcome everybody, my name is Antoni Szustakowski, I'm a Polish FIDE master and today I will be a host for you. And the first part of today's broadcast will include a lecture from a true legend of chess grandmaster, Adrian Michal Cishin. Uh, welcome. Yes, hello, it's very nice to be with all of you and to share some, some part of my knowledge. Hope uh, it will be very interesting for you. Yes, uh, Grandmaster Michal Cishin is a great player and a fantastic coach. He has a lot of uh, working experience and uh, I hope you will uh, enjoy uh, the lecture. The topic is uh, how to become a FIDE trainer. And just before we start, I uh, will ask you one question. How do you see uh, the wom women's uh, involvement in chess uh, change because especially in yes. the coaching part has it changed yes it, it is changing it is changing very much and it is very very positive very positive uh, let's say tendency of course we cannot reach uh, schools level as in, you know in schools most of schools 90 percent of teachers are female uh, teachers uh, which is uh, you know, which is not, not uh, in my opinion, in the opinion, everybody has such tendency, but of course, we would be much better to have a uh, much balanced uh, situations. In chess, we have opposite. 90% of trainers are men and just 10% are female. And, but this tendency is growing and there are the, and we must work and we must help because it's extremely necessary to have much more female in chess. So you know that um, ECU has some regulations that on every tournament, minimum 25% of arbiters will be uh, are female on all our competitions. The same, I think, is our target, first target. First step is to reach 20, 25% percent of, of trainers. I will, I will talk today a bit First of all, I will explain the system, how to become trainer, how to be educated. And second part, I will try to do a bit more. I will uh, talk about my experience and my, uh, and my, let's say, recommendations for working with girls and what is the difference girls and boys work. Because from my, uh, accidentally, from my, my first real pupil, uh, I mean, Pupil, the person whom I trained uh, with my friend Grandmaster Tomas Georgadze was future champion Maya Shibudanidze. You know, my first real, <laughs> real, no, not real pupil. Of course, I trained. I was the second to Grandmaster Romanishin on Soviet Championships, so I had big, big experience. But Maya more was more more, let's say, um, uh, my pupil in the sense of education. This, when you are second uh, on some um, big competition for some strong grandmasters, your work, of course, your work is consists of two parts. Your work, first of all, is to prepare and to propose some opening variations. That in that time, it was analyzed of the joint games. Today, it doesn't exist. And of course, psychological comfort that top player when he plays one month practically in the tournaments he has to have uh, relax he has to have uh, communication and not to be not to be alone you know on the on the competition but let's talk about feed the trainer system and about education and uh, of training just just before we start if you have any questions to our first guest uh, just leave them in the uh, youtube chat uh, at the very end of this part i will ask them and uh, i uh, leave you with uh, grandmaster michal chishin okay thank you very much <laughs> so thank you for your help and uh, uh, this uh, uh, Trainer system was built uh, not immediately, as all titles, all system was started uh, in in 1950. Uh, but uh, trainers uh, trainers uh, system started just in 2000, Olympiad Istanbul, when famous grandmaster Yuri Razovaev, who was the trainer of world champion uh, Alexandra Kostenyuk, is you know here is a. Uh, female female uh, let, let's say uh, part uh, he was appointed by Kirsan Ilumzino then president of FIDE to become chairman of trainers commission so 
Uh, Yuri Razovayev started to together uh, started to work with different trainers all over the world, trying to get them to the uh, to the group of uh, to the commission uh, because commission was really constituted in 2002. And I was very lucky because, okay, okay, I was just quite known trainer. I was trainer of Slovenian teams and Netherlands teams before I was training world champion Anatoly Karpov and many, many young, talented, uh, strong grandmasters, like, okay, like Alexander Belavsky, Arkady Najdic, Richard Rapport and others. So I was lucky that he appointed me uh, as uh, uh, vice chairman, but it's very funny. Nowadays, all, uh, all uh, commissions in FIDE are appointed by the president. But in that time, we had elections. We, on the Olympiad uh, 2002, uh, there were many trainers present, present uh, on our meeting, and it was the elections, and we were elected with the idea what to do first. First, to create uh, create uh, trainer system, it means system of titles, uh, and then to, to create system of education, how to help trainers. Because, you know, there are uh, some uh, faculties, chess faculties, in some in some uh, Eastern European University. Uh, the first one was started in 1960, I think, five in Moscow, in Moscow Institute for Physical Education. There were some famous grandmasters like uh, starting from Balashov, and I think either at the end Kramnik was studying there and some, and, and some others. Um, uh, then it was developed. There were around Minsk very famous, uh, very famous uh, uh, chess faculty uh, where, where studied uh, Susan Polgar and Boris Gelfand, Ilya Smirin and others, you know, very far famous, very famous in Lviv when studied Vasily Vanchuk, Muzichuk sisters, uh, Alexander Belavsky and maybe 20 more GMs, yes. So it was start of the chess education there are there are programs for how to teach trainers how to educate trainers of course uh, it was in bulgaria it was something in poland in smaller uh, much smaller size in czechia it was nothing so yugoslavia either was nothing because they sent their top okay not top trainers but trainers which wanted to uh, to get education, they send it to, to Moscow. They studied uh, in Moscow uh, chess, chess faculty. But anyhow, it was not, not too much. On the West, and especially in Asia, Africa, it was nothing. So it was demand of FIDE to educate trainers. Of course, it was, it was a problem. We did not have uh, enough time. First, we created a system with the five titles the top but we went not from the, the down we went from the top why because we had the group system we cannot construct from the scratch because there were many trainers and trainers of different levels so we had to first of all to make choice for them who are the top trainers well uh, senior trainers and then to go down down and down to trainers of beginners we had three titles fide tra uh, fide senior trainer fide trainer uh, fide instructor and two titles which were devised for schools um, it was national instructor and national trainer of course there are two valuable titles uh, they were uh, idea to to work together with um, chess in school commission but this cooperation was not so not so great always they wanted own titles we, we created for them even even syllabus first our step was to create syllabus to make selection, uh, lessons selection of titles for trainers education what trainer has to has to study. We made it for two, for two for two levels. First level was, of course, general trainers, and second were trainers which are working with the beginners, which are extremely important for us. Extremely important because work of trainers uh, which are working with beginners is the key for a quantity of kids which will join later 
uh, next stages of of chess education because if trainers of this level on this level are not so uh, are not so good then it will be it will be a problem and people and kids as it's many times happening kids are losing interest in chess so uh, we try first of all it was systems then uh, syllabuses syllabuses and then seminars we started seminars we had few trainers academies one was new york one was uh, berlin one was singapore and in these centers uh, of course we understood that there are not sufficient money for trainers to travel because trainers are okay just trainers are not rich persons and we want to make them everything more comfortable to be in there is close to to this to these places not to not to pay excessive rates for travels for hotels and so on so berlin was for europe uh, new york for you was for usa and canada and mexico and of course we had singapore for asia but it was not not enough of course but we started very important was to start we had seminars of course to educate trainer we need 200 hours but we had not enough time not enough resources to collect people in one place to pay uh, who will pay such long long sessions for example 200 hours is necessary to educate kid people i think three four months intensively uh, so we decided to have seminar plus plus syllabus which will help uh, trainers to study themselves because in chess as maybe you know not work to educate ourselves as the trainers we don't have sufficient methodological material we don't have sufficient uh, material so we tried to make some materials to add some materials but of course it was the problem of financing we had no really big big financing uh, from fide because it was not possible fide was not so rich and we made, of course, but we had financing for two things. First, for syllabuses, which were the basic, which was the, the basic, of course, for our work. And second, we asked our top trainers to publish on the site of Trainers Commission uh, every month two articles. One of the middle game, one of the end game, how to teach, how to teach correctly these subjects. And we wanted to have more and more lessons and in some moment we will fill all the gaps is some subject attack against the king and we wanted to cover to cover more and more more and more uh, subjects more and more empty places to have it but of course we worked with this system eight years uh, this system worked very very successfully later we came as it was problem with financing we couldn't publish two articles monthly we published just one article monthly of course we, we went a bit down but new 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 um, i was i became uh, chairman of trainers commission in 2009 and 2018 i was doing uh, i was keeping this function trying to do my best Trainers Commission became the best the best commission in FIDE, and uh, but 2018 uh, new team came to uh, to lead FIDE, and practically all all commissions were uh, let's say changed. All commissions were changed. New team are coming, and new team was I must tell you that was scandalously badly working terribly badly working there are no no other words they destroyed all work what we did you cannot find in our, our materials which were very useful many trainers in many countries use these materials for training now it's everything is is lost very difficult to find something and of course to become trainer is still it's still uh, possible way it is necessary to join the seminars yes seminars as i told you we started with 30 hours 30 hours it was quite good quantity it, it was five six days but later we is there were some some problems and we have to cut it to 15 hours short seminars plus that 
Trainers have to study a lot themselves. These materials from syllabus or from other sources which we will give, they will do it. Of course, last year it's appeared, there appeared online seminars, which was, of course, big, not, I can't say big improvement, but it was making access to, to seminars, I mean, in the material sense, in sense of money, it made much cheaper and participation was extremely, went extremely uh, higher uh, and of course this kind of uh, work has to be continued but in my opinion it's necessary to have uh, maybe to have different programs for different levels with 15 hours 30 hours maybe even sometimes 50 hours for trainers of uh, beginners which would be much more useful so but what the most important thing is to understand that now in former times uh, chess trainers um, were very rarely seen especially on the west uh, uh, in, in soviet bloc countries there were much more trainers there were many many sport clubs chess clubs which uh, hired hired trainers but nowadays which the, when chess started to uh, enter schools that schools understood that chess is extremely useful in this time for teaching decision making and the logical thinking no quantity of trainers is growing on the west for example my friends told me that in austria in vienna big vienna it's ra around six million peoples uh, there were two three trainers on the start of the 2000s nowadays there are more than 50 and the quantity is growing and growing so you know Chess trainers became very respected, uh, respected uh, job and job in demand. In many countries, it's in high demand, especially especially in the schools. But we don't have sufficient uh, education, education for trainers uh, and for teachers. Some national federations, national ministries trying to do it, to, let's say, to have some seminars, have some lessons. It's very positive on, on every level, but it is not sufficient. So we have to do much more through FIDE and through maybe through European Chess Union. We have, uh, we have to start some improvement chess uh, trainer seminars with the certificates to get much wider, much wider um, population of chess trainers. We say population, very nice word, but it's really, we have to share materials. We have a lot of materials, educational materials, how to work psychologically with kids and so on and so on. So we must make new sites for us to make these materials available for every trainer, for every trainer in Europe. It is extremely, extremely important important uh, for for all trainers because once more i say there is not sufficient uh, literature for trainers not sufficient literature except our syllabuses maybe in russia there are some materials maybe in bulgaria but mostly we do, trainers has to work to collect materials to co to collect their lessons to create their lessons themselves there were some uh, systems of training which were created by old Russian system, which is old 50 years, by uh, famous trainer Golenishchev. There were very useful books. I worked myself with pupils, but this, but this book is outdated. Russians tried to improve it, to make it is book every for every level consists of 50, 54 lessons. Yes, and the lessons are materials for these lessons. Of course, it was not sufficient. It was created quite clever way, I mean, arrangement of the subjects, but they were too, too short. Uh, it was necessary to add more material and to make material more modern. Yes, we use modern materials because there are nowadays many good books from which we can get a lot of educational materials. So, for this reason, for this reason, it is uh, they tried to make it to let's say to refresh it, but these trainers which which were working in this subject were not very professional for some reason, and this book uh, is not very much improved as we all expected. But I mean, this ba basic book 
which was uh, done by this Golenischev for different levels. And our syllabuses are still key books which we have, we have, we have to study. And I know that people who want to become trainer, they, first of all, they have big love for chess. And this big love for chess, they try to transfer to their pupils that they, 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 the pupils will, will enjoy chess. Yes, love for chess is a key is a key element for for every trainer because okay we now say that um, salaries are much better they are a, a lot of uh, trainers is in high demand in different in different countries of course it is it is true it is true but still we have to understand that main thing for chess trainer as for example other sport trainers I would say it is a love. Love of the game, love for for our sport, and to transfer this love to to kids. Of course, for this reason, we need more education, more education, and this education is at the moment is supplied mostly by FIDE trainers training um, uh, seminars, and it will be in some from sept September we will have trainers conference whole Europe. And after this, we will start different training programs for training, training trainers how to teach different subjects to have full full to have full uh, let's say educational program for for trainers or for some trainers are interested in how to teach some subjects so we, we, we will combine and top trainers from whole europe will participate in this in this program with our main task is to unite all trainers to share their knowledge and to help next generation of trainers, to help train the trainers which are now working and they feel that they have lack of knowledge and they want to improve their level. So it's always, even trainers are improving their level. If, if we have many many trainers who have, for example, FIDE instructor title, they want to improve and to get to get to get uh, FIDE, FIDE trainer title and so on, and then FIDE senior trainer title. But I will, what must say in this system, how we find who is trainer of each level? We found pupils. How many pupils? Uh, how many strong players uh, uh, trainer uh, worked with? What he that did he wrote some methodological article about his experience about some um, educational educational subjects in chess, and uh, what is uh, let's say how many years he worked. So there are there is some special system on which there are special points, and then it's possible to uh, say who is the trainer of uh, of which level and what trainers need to become trainer of higher level. So this system is working quite well, despite the fact that new administration of trainers commission tried to destroy system to make some different different titles or change titles. But it was really, really unnecessary, unnecessary politics as uh, as it was but uh, still the trainer seminar which they are conducting is the most important important tool for trainer for trainers for trainers who want to improve their level for trainers who want to become new trainers newcomers want to join system and it's extremely useful and ex and it is necessary to join all this system and, and once more i want to stress that we need much more much more women in chess much more women because women, much more girls nowadays are playing chess and we want to keep girls. So about girls, the main problem is with girls, the girls on some level, on the beginner's level, they play not worse than boys. Yes, You know it yourself from your experience, maybe you have seen, but the, it comes some uh, age, some I think 12, 13 years old, and these girls are Girls are studying very seriously, much seriously than boys. Boys have some interest, some sports, some, uh, let's say, even chess. And they, let's say, put much more energy into their hobbies. Girls uh, prefer to not prefer. They study much better than boys, much better, much more serious than boys. And to work with girls generally, not, not just for teachers, for trainers, it I must tell you honestly, it's much bigger pleasure because it's discipline, 
it's normal uh, attitude towards teacher and uh, teacher among among others practically there are no no big no big problems and the educational process is going very well but as i told you it is one of the problems of um, of of chess and chess trainers that at age 12 13 girls are losing some interest in chess because in this moment it comes uh, uh, the importance of the result and boys are much more ambitious than girls in this in this area boys wants always to be uh, let's say ambitious to win something to be winners for girls is not so important no for girls how girls love chess they have div a bit different uh, different uh, different attitudes they love chess like some intellectual uh, thing like some puzzle like like some mathematical tasks you know and for this for this reason i for example i personally as a trainer i prefer interests uh, of the girls you know i trained after my chiburnaniza i had some training sessions with nana alexandria then i trained uh, uh, polgar sisters it was incredible it was very tough because we worked and they always worked eight hours per day without okay break was just for lunch and then after uh, in the evening we played ping pong you know ping pong for physical preparation so you know they they worked terribly well in very nice atmosphere very nice atmosphere very very friendly uh, atmosphere of their parents which which they created girls did not went to school they had uh, private teachers they studied these private teachers and they made at the end of the year they made uh, exams it was not so easy to achieve but parents proved that with the hard work you can create best world players like for example uh, judith polgar she is clearly the best female player um, in the history and uh, his, his his sister uh, susan uh, was world champion and of course, but it's very funny that the most talented Sofia, the middle sister, she was not so ambitious in chess. She is a nice painter and she did not, she played extremely well, but she did not want to put all her energy in, in, into chess. And she did not, let's say, I would say, uh, did not fulfill her chess talent fully. Because she, she talent was enormously big. It was really one of the greatest talent in the in the history. So then I worked with European, with Dutch, with Slovenian women team, Dutch women team, with Alisa Maric. I trained Alisa Maric. She was number four in the world, but she I trained her for six, seven years, and then when she left chess, she became professor of economics. And then she became minister. She was minister of sport, you know, very high position. And of course, for trainer, it's either some kind of, um, let's say, proud to be proud that your pupil became minister or some director of bank or some successful businessman and so on and so on. You know, it is really something uh, because not not all not all trainers will not all players will become will become. Uh, professional and they they will go to the civil life as as possible to say and then in civil life they have to take the very high uh, very high position and it is pleasure for every for every trainer uh, so what uh, but it is it is a difference i must tell you that it is a difference between between train between if in training between boys and and girls as i told you first and we don't fulfill it very well for girls we need to give them more tasks to keep them in chess to keep interest in chess yes it's very important they, that they would not leave chess because in some in some some trainers always said to me on the start we have 50 50 boys and girls and after after uh, two years we have just one girl left in the group from uh, from uh, for example 10 we have to make it more not to make so much unifying uh, you know making some interested interested training in which girls will will be interested with more logical task more more calculational task and so on and so on to have more because okay boys need more competition you know 
Of course, of course, we have to teach girls to have competition either because life is a, is a competition. But we have to teach it not to rely so much on on results. That result is not so important, you know, because many okay for boys result is very important. And here, parents, role of the parents is extremely important because some parents always are instead of encourage kids, especially girls, to play better to survive the loss lost game because it teaches in life well you lost game so what you will play next day in another game and to, you must be ready to this game but some parents are even punishing uh, punishing kids for losing the game i have seen many cases that parents are behaving terribly bad of course it is on the national championships on uh, world and youth and the european uh, Championships is the problem. It's the problem of parents, of parents' attitude, and it is a function of trainer, function of trainer to work with parents, and to and to even to educate parents in this area. Parents will not punish uh, for lost game. You know, it is extremely important because it's very, very difficult part for this bad relations, uh, bad acceptance of parents of lost games. In such cases, uh, many kids are leaving chess. You know, it is it is it is true. So trainers must work not just with kids but with parents. It's extremely important to to teach parents correct attitude um, toward uh, uh, kids' successes and kids' uh, some uh, losses. It's life, and to, to have to be completely, completely, the, let's say, positive attitude in every in in every on every stage of of parents so we as it is very important to train kid, the girls a bit differently you look for example now it's another stuff girls are sitting much more during the game you know on the beginners level it's not important girls are very concentrated they are trying to be concentrated the whole game and they don't even then they don't stand up boys are running played more running of course, they came to back to the board, make mistakes. Of course, it is happening, loss of the concentration. But the most important thing is that girls are tired. When they play the game longer than one hour, they are becoming tired and they have, we have to teach them as trainers to relax. To relax, to go for a walk a bit, and then to return to the board, concentrate once more. Uh, this is very important technique, which is not uh, taught by the trainers. One more thing, another thing is how we teach, for example, other openings. Girls don't like long variations. Boys, they have different memory and they memorize many times variations, which is useless either, which is useless. But boys believe that they are strong side and they uh, memorize variations. And some trainers, they are teaching. So you have this variation, 15, 20 moves, please, you must study it by heart. It's very wrong. With girls, it's necessary to teach logical thinking and plans you have to explain plans and you have to explain dangers what opponent can do then if you explain this stuff to girls what are the dangers and what are the let's say opponents ideas and what is your idea what where you have to be careful they are playing great it's even on every level okay even on, on the top they have they are playing a bit not like men's fully but they play i mean opening repertoire a bit similar yes it's similar with long variations with theory and so on but on the lower level especially it's not necessary it's necessary to teach girls opening different but i think not just girls even boys because boys are studying variations openings in the wrong way trying to memorize it yes it's useless it's useless exploit okay exploitation on one side it's useless for rely on it but on the other side is the training of brains training Intellectual training is useful, you know, it's useful, but not useful, <laughs> but not useful that you will, that he will, he will produce it during the game, you know, so it is, it is very double, double edged situation, but anyhow, uh, I think that we have, uh, we have, we need to have more special seminars for trainers, which are working with girls, with girls and to teach them to try, uh, main task is to try to keep girls in chess, more more and more girls in chess, because chess is fantastic, fantastic social game, fantastic intellectual game, 
And so we must try. It's not the game about just about result. It's about other things which are extremely useful, which are necessary in life. Okay, who wants to become professional? He must be extremely ambitious and try to win every game, every every position. It happens like like that. But work of normal trainer is like that, as I told you, to teach the beauty of chess, the level of chess, and to enjoy chess. So it's more or less what I wanted to talk uh, to tell you about about this uh, stuff. Please, do you have some? Uh, some questions. Uh, yes, in case you have any questions to our guest, just leave a comment uh, on the chat. We will wait for uh, for a moment. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the lecture very, very much because of uh, the large amount of knowledge and experience our guest has. So uh, it, it was surely extremely useful. Uh, and do we have any questions? Not, not yet. We will wait for for uh, for a couple of seconds more. And uh, mm. I would like to invite you for a final chess event of this festival. It's uh, the uh, team final uh, blitz. Uh, uh, it's the team final final team uh, blitz uh, tournament. It uh, will start in uh, one hour and twenty minutes. It's like uh, two p.m. CEST, -E -E and um, and what I would like to uh, thank you a lot for uh, coming here and sharing your your knowledge yes. and experience. It was my pleasure, Antoni. Thank you very much for for promoting all our our stuff. And I want to wish to everybody good luck, success. And if you will play Blitz, win. Still, you, will, you must have ambitions and to enjoy it. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>